Do you think you need a lot of money to start investing? Many people believe that investing is reserved for the wealthy. They think it's something only millionaires or financial experts can do. But that's not true. In reality, anyone can start investing with small amounts of money. This misconception keeps many people from taking their first step into the world of investing. They wait until they have a large sum of money, missing out on valuable time that could have been spent growing their investments. The good news is that you don't need thousands of dollars to get started. Even a small amount can make a big difference over time. In this essay, we'll explore how you can become a smart investor, even if you only have a little money to work with. We'll break down complex concepts into simple, actionable steps. By the end, you'll see that smart investing is accessible and achievable for everyone. So let's dive in and discover how you can start your investment journey today with just a few dollars. Investing is not as complicated as it seems. With just a little knowledge and some practical steps, anyone can start investing. You don't need a financial advisor or a large bank account. All you need is the willingness to learn and the discipline to stick with your plan. Starting with small amounts of money might seem insignificant, but it's actually a powerful way to build wealth over time. The key is to start early and be consistent. Even small investments can grow into substantial amounts through the power of compound interest. In this essay, we will share tips and strategies that have helped successful investors like Warren Buffett. We'll show you how to invest in stocks, diversify your investments, and take advantage of index funds. We'll also discuss the importance of automating your investments to ensure consistency. By following these simple steps, you can set yourself up for financial success. The most important thing is to start now, no matter how small your initial investment may be. Compound interest is one of the most powerful concepts in investing. It's the process where the money you earn on your investments starts to earn money itself. Over time, this can lead to exponential growth. Imagine you invest $100 with an annual return of 5%. After one year, you'd have $105. In the second year, you'd earn interest not just on your original $100, but also on the $5 you earned in the first year. This might seem small, but over time, it makes a huge difference. For example, if you invest $100 every month for 30 years at a 5% return, you'd end up with over $83,000. That's the magic of compound interest. The earlier you start, the more time your money has to grow. Even if you can only invest a small amount now, it's important to start as soon as possible. The longer you wait, the more you miss out on the benefits of compound interest. Warren Buffett? One of the most successful investors of all time often emphasizes the importance of consistency. He believes that regular small investments can be more effective than occasional large ones. Buffett started investing at a young age with small amounts of money. He didn't become a billionaire overnight. Instead, he built his wealth gradually through consistent investing and smart decision making. One of his key principles is to invest in what you understand. Instead of trying to find the next big thing, focus on companies and industries you know well. This reduces the risk and helps you make more informed decisions. Another important lesson from Buffett is to stay patient. The stock market can be volatile, but it tends to grow over the long term. By sticking to your plan and not reacting to short-term fluctuations, you can achieve better results. Practical Steps for Beginners Starting your investment journey can be simple if you follow a few practical steps. First, consider investing in stocks with little money. Many online platforms now allow you to buy fractional shares, meaning you can invest in expensive stocks without needing a lot of money. Next, diversify your investments. Don't put all your money into one stock or industry. Spread your investments across different sectors to reduce risk. This way, if one investment doesn't perform well, Others can help balance it out. Another good strategy is to start with index funds. These funds track the performance of a market index, like the S&P 500. They offer broad exposure to the market and are less risky than investing in individual stocks. Finally, automate your investments. Set up automatic transfers from your bank account to your investment account. This ensures you invest consistently without having to remember to do it each month. Key principles from Warren Buffett's approach. My approach to investing is based on a few key principles that anyone can follow. First, I emphasize patience. Investing is not a get-rich-quick scheme. It takes time for investments to grow. 
so it's important to be patient and stay committed to your plan. I also advocate for long-term thinking. Instead of trying to make quick profits, focus on the long-term potential of your investments. This mindset helps you stay calm during market fluctuations and avoid making impulsive decisions. Another important principle is to avoid pitfalls. This means being cautious of investments that seem too good to be true. High returns often come with high risks. It's better to aim for steady, reliable growth than to chase after risky opportunities. By following these principles, you can build a strong foundation for your investment strategy. Remember, investing is a marathon, not a sprint. The importance of continual education. Continual education is crucial for becoming a smart investor. The more you learn about investing, the better your decisions will be. There are many resources available to help you expand your knowledge. Books are a great starting point. Some classics include The Intelligent Investor by Benjamin Graham and Rich Dad. Poor Dad by Robert Kiyosaki. These books offer valuable insights and practical advice for investors at all levels. Podcasts are another excellent resource. Shows like The Dave Ramsey Show and Bigger Pockets Money Podcast provide tips and interviews with successful investors. Listening to these podcasts can help you stay informed and motivated. Finally, consider taking online courses. Platforms like Coursera and Udemy offer courses on investing, personal finance, and more. These courses can help you build a solid understanding of investment principles and strategies. Summarizing key points. Let's summarize some key points from this essay. First, you don't need a lot of money to start investing. Even small amounts can grow significantly over time through the power of compound interest. Consistency is more important than the amount you invest. Regular, small investments can lead to substantial growth. Follow practical steps like investing in fractional shares, diversifying your portfolio, and starting with index funds. Warren Buffett's principles, patience, long-term thinking, and avoiding pitfalls are essential for successful investing. Continual education is also crucial. Read books, listen to podcasts, and take online courses to improve your knowledge. By following these steps and principles, you can become a smart investor regardless of how much money you start with. Take your first small steps. Now that you understand the basics, it's time to take your first small steps. Start by setting a clear investment goal. What do you want to achieve? Whether it's saving for retirement, buying a house, or building an emergency fund, having a goal will keep you motivated. Next, open an investment account if you don't already have one. Many online platforms make it easy to start with small amounts of money. Choose one that offers low fees and user-friendly tools. Begin with a small investment. Even $10 or $20 a month can make a difference over time. The key is to start and be consistent. Automate your investments to ensure you stick to your plan. Finally, keep learning and adjusting your strategy as needed. Investing is a journey and there will be ups and downs. Stay informed and stay committed to your goals. Building a community of smart investors. Building a community of smart investors can provide support and motivation. Share your goals and progress with friends or family members who are also interested in investing. You can learn from each other and stay accountable. Consider joining online forums or social media groups focused on investing. These platforms offer a wealth of knowledge and the opportunity to connect with experienced investors. You can ask questions, share tips, and stay updated on the latest trends. Attending local investment clubs or meetups is another great way to build a network. These events provide a chance to meet like-minded individuals and learn from guest speakers. By building a community, you can stay motivated and continue growing your investment knowledge. Remember, investing is a lifelong journey, and having a support system can make it more enjoyable and successful. Conclusion In conclusion, becoming a smart investor with small amounts of money is both possible and achievable. You don't need a large sum to start, just the willingness to learn and the discipline to be consistent. We've covered the importance of compound interest, lessons from Warren Buffett, and practical steps for beginners. We've also emphasized the value of continual education and building a supportive community. By following these tips and principles, you can start your investment journey today. Remember, the key is to start now, no matter how small your initial investment may be. Over time, your money will grow and you'll be on your way to achieving your financial goals. Take that first step and begin your journey to becoming a smart investor. Your future self will thank you.